Dave Chappelle's controversial comedy special prompted some protests outside the Netflix building last week. Both critics and supporters gathered outside the company's offices. Comedian and the videographer Vito Giswaldi was out there in support. Now watch how this all went down. He's got a weapon. Vito Giswaldi is here, and his cat is with him. Vito, thanks. Yeah. Tell, tell us how that, tell us how that went she's down. She's going the interview as well. How are you? <laughs> what happened? Well, uh, as we know, or as you may have seen, Dave Chappelle had a new Netflix special, The Closer. He talked about a number of things, but he also talked about the transgender community. And this is a community which has said that what Chappelle said about them could be considered uh, not only bigoted, but hate speech. And uh, frankly, as a comedian, as a guy who makes his money from comedy online and elsewhere, uh, that's very troubling when a, when a group tries to tell you what you can and can't joke about. So uh, me and a, a fellow comedian, my, my co-host Dick Masterson, we do a podcast called The Biggest Problem in the Universe. We said, why don't we head down there and show support for Chappelle? And we did, and it ended up going very badly for us. <laughs> well, well, well. Let me, let me, allow me to jump in. I watched this on Twitter, and I was like, "Get this guy! This is fantastic," um, because your your demeanor was perfect, my friend. You were just, you're right. like, you showed up, you had a sign, and those people didn't want any part of your sign. Those, those were Netflix employees, also, right? Yeah, uh, I mean, this guy who's grabbing my sign here, and let's be clear. These signs did not, I mean, they're saying we brought hate speech and, and evil into their thing. Our signs said, we like Dave. <laughs> Jokes are funny. These were the messages that uh, really went over the line for these people to the point where they thought they had to smash up our property. And that guy you see in the video there is a guy, Joe Cristalli. He's a big writer at Netflix. He's working on the reboot of Frasier. Took it on himself to, yeah, grab my sign, uh, break it. And then as I'm there holding the broken half of a sign, you know, I'm just have a pole. He goes, he's got a weapon, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this man is a violent criminal. I'm like, you know that I have a sign. You know I don't have a weapon. <laughs> so, you, you, you drop the, the, the pole or it was a stick for the sign. You're like, you're right. like laughing. And then someone well, gets the up in your going, grill. This man's a violent man. He's got a, he's got a big old stick. I'm like, okay, I'll put the stick down. My God. The most violent uh, episode of all of this was that lady at the end doing something in your face. What was that all about? Yeah, well, after I drop my horrible weapon, I have the entire <laughs> crowd in my face pushing me backwards. And one lady took it upon herself to really exercise the demons from within me <laughs> as she's shaking a tambourine in my face and yelling, repent, mother effer, repent. <laughs> you know, like a religious zeal these people have. Uh, the whole experience was, I don't even know, just just insanity. Yeah. You know, we, we, you know and I think at one point we, 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 I spoke to you earlier yesterday and you said some of this, there's some Antifa ties to this very quickly, if you don't mind. Yeah, I mean, uh, luckily I got out of this uh, unscathed, but my buddy uh, who had a similar sign to me that said, we like Dave, at one point, the exact same Netflix writer tries to break his sign as well. Uh, he kind of held on to his sign, and somebody accused him of then choking this writer. So next thing you know, you have these Antifa guys running out of the crowd, and they smash my buddy's head into a concrete <laughs> planter. Uh yeah, so my video, I mean, it was funny until we saw the footage of what happened to my buddy, and now we're, we're not laughing as much as we were. Yeah. Uh, these people can be violent. It can be scary at those protests. I mean, when that guy yelled he had a weapon, his hope was that somebody would take that seriously and come beat the crap out of me. Yeah. Be uh, comedy's under attack. Vito, comedy's under attack. Uh, America's under attack, really. It's, our, our sense of humor has been, is, is trying to be stifled by, by these, these people, these thugs. Vito Swaldi, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. And thanks to the cat for sticking around. <laughs>